I hate to say it guys, but the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta is coming to an end for a few days. I honestly cannot remember the last time I've pulled multiple all-nighters, grinding videos, playing Call of Duty, and just having fun. I think the last time was actually during Black Ops 3, but the most vivid memories that I had were during the Modern Warfare 3 slash Black Ops 1 era. So yeah, it's been a while since I've had this feeling, but of course there are some things that we need to address about Black Ops 4 since this is a beta test after all. So pretty much this video is going to be my day one revisited experience slash review of the Black Ops 4 beta. Now a lot of people were upset at me because in that video I said that the time to kill was super fast, which I honestly felt that it was on day one. I was shredding people like you saw in the gameplay that I had in the video, my first ever game, I dropped a 50 bomb. But after a few more days and many, many games after, I came to the conclusion that the time to kill is neither fast nor slow. It's actually pretty in inconsistent if you ask me. Uh, I've been killed by uh, so many people where I felt that I should have won that gunfight. I've been in many gunfights where I felt that I, I either melted them or I, you know, felt like I emptied out a whole mag and it still wouldn't even kill the guy. So the time to kill is definitely all over the place if you ask me, but still I would like to know your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Now weekend 2 of the beta will be starting up on August the 10th, which is this coming Friday, and we've already got a few teases of what's to come. Obviously the level cap will more than likely be increased, but we are also going to be getting a brand new map, and I'm going to have gameplay of it actually on screen for you guys. The map appears to be set in some sort of a mansion or hotel. It's actually actually kind of reminds me of the map Villa from Black Ops 1, uh, but based off the little teaser video on Twitter, the map looks really, really beautiful. We did not get a name for the map though. Again, it kind of was meant to be a little teaser, I guess, for week two for the beta. But on top of this new map, we are, we are going to be getting a new game mode, and of course, Treyarch has not told us what that mode is. In fact, they've actually kept this new mode under tight wraps, and I don't think even the players who were playing the alpha version, you know, the little COD circle. I don't even think they got to see this mode. So I'm pretty excited to see what's going to be in store for us come week two. Sounds like a lot of really, really awesome stuff. Now guys, over on Reddit, Treyarch said for week two, they're going to be coming out with a big title update for the Black Ops 4 beta. And a lot of the stuff they're going to be updating are some big concerns that we've all talked about, such as the score streaks, um, the movement, and even the body armor. So first off, let's take a look at the score streaks. So they say we've made a big pass at tuning the effectiveness of score streaks that are underperforming. This includes expanding the Hellstorm cluster lock on radius, increasing the damage per shells of the lightning strike, upping the health of the sentry turret, increasing the strike team's weapon accuracy, improving the strafe runs plane pathing, and increasing the attack choppers targeting capability. So the score streaks, they, they're really, really bad, honestly. That's, there's no other way to put it. The score streaks in the beta are horrible but I'm pretty happy that they're gonna be looking into the score streak issue and uh, I cannot wait to play once they finally get buffed now on to the movement they say as promised we've also made some modifications to locomotion namely to reduce the amount of bunny hopping sl plus sliding combo moves we've realized how important locomotion is to the feel of the game so this is always a delicate balancing act and we're taking it slow starting with reducing the global jump height by five units Units, slowing down very slightly the acceleration on sliding and jumping multiple times in a row will now scale down jump height with each subsequent jump so uh, the movement was a pretty big issue that I highlighted in my day one video um, I felt that it, it the jump shotting was just too too OP in this game um, the fact that you can jump uh, so many times without really losing any height was ridiculous so I'm pretty happy they're gonna be looking into that and now for the maps and modes they say a pass at performance optimization has been made across all maps in the beta for improved frame rates so basically um, usually if you got into a gunfight with a guy or even multiple guys then you would drop frames and it was super super annoying another issue that I highlighted in my first video so I'm really happy that's gonna get fixed and they also say 
they made a pass at global spawn improvement in various maps and modes, and finally updated hardpoint location and rotation on Seaside. For the specialist weaponry and equipment, they say we've made some tuning adjustments including reducing overall effectiveness of the K9 unit while fixing some of its egregious pathing issues. So the K9 unit basically was uh, really OP honestly because the dog can just jump like 50 feet up in the air, it can jump through windows. I'm pretty sure dogs are not able to do that so uh, I'm glad the K9 unit is going to get a nerf in that regard. Now for the armor they say because we know this is a hot topic we're going to address it separately with a dedicated thread. We did say that we wanted to leave this alone until more content is unlocked and we've had more time to crunch the data from all the other content in the game. For now we are making some early tweaks which we'll discuss in a later post so uh, for the body armor we're not going to get too much details on that here. Um, maybe for week two we're going to get some information uh, but yeah as of right now guys we don't have any clue on what's going to happen with the body armor. I'm pretty sure it's just going to get a big nerf. I don't think Treyarch is going to completely remove it from the game. And uh, yeah, Call of Duty has just never been known to do that kind of stuff ever. So yeah, I do feel that the body armor is going to get looked at. But in terms of it getting removed, uh, that's honestly just wishful thinking in that regard. And yeah, guys, this is all the stuff that's going to be changing for week two of the beta. My review and I guess opinion of the beta has not changed. I've had a lot of fun over the past few days. And I cannot wait to play weekend two of the beta because of all these updates. This is a lot of stuff that I personally have had big, big issues with. And I did highlight a lot of these issues in my previous video of the day one review. So I'm super happy they're going to get looked at. And yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty fun weekend too. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then please slap the like button down below. And uh, comment your thoughts about the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta after playing it for weekend one. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I love y'all. I appreciate all the support over this past couple of days here. I have some awesome stuff planned out for Black Ops 4 and uh, throughout the rest of the beta. You guys definitely do not want to miss that, so be sure to click that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.